guys, and welcome to episode 4 of Bucket for Beginners. In this episode, I'm going to cover uh, creating a test server and also exporting your plugin into your server in a form that, that the server can run. So, but first, I need to uh, go over the homework from last episode. So, I asked you guys to log a severe message <coughs> that said, Oh crap, my plugin's broke. So, here's how you would go about that. We're going to access the My Plugin Logger object that we made up here. We got the logger from, from Bucket. And we're going to log a, we're going to call the severe method. Oh crap, my plugin's broke. Or it could be plugin is broke if you, if you, if you like grammar. And that's it. This is going to log a message that looks like severe. Oh crap, my plugins broke. Like that. And now we're going to see how to actually do this. We're going to see this in action. So, first off, we're going to um, make our testing server. So, we need to create a new folder. I'm going to call it uh, YouTube Plugin Testing server. Now go into this folder and find wherever you had your craft bucket jar that you're using uh, with Eclipse. Find that, copy it, and paste it into this folder. Next, right click it, rename it to craft bucket dot jar, just craft bucket. Now you need to open up a uh, notepad and I'm going to, uh, this is like a, a batch script so uh, that you have to put in here. I'm going to paste this into the description. So um, it's, I have it copied here, I think. Maybe not. Okay, I'll go into my other server and just copy it from there. Okay. Get this out of here. Now, the um, dash O false means that um, that uh, off that uh, what's it called online mode is set to false, so anybody can join this server. I have this like that so that if my internet at, um, ever goes down, uh, which it, it frequently does, I can keep on testing my plugins because the server is locally. So we'll make that true for now. So we're gonna save as save it into your um, the server the the folder that we made. So we're going to call this run.bat. Very important you call it that. Save that. Exit out. Now in this folder, you should have your craft bucket jar and run.bat, which is a batch file. Now, just double click the bat file or batch. It's going to start going, it's going to find that and it's going to generate all the stuff that you need for your server. Nice and simple. Now, when you go into Minecraft, this is going to be under the IP localhost. If you already have this stuff set up, just skip ahead about um, another two minutes. So we got it right here under localhost. And there is our server. So we're all set with that. Now we are going to actually export the plugin that we made with the logger. And we're going to I'm not going to go into commands, that'll be the next episode. Um, actually, that's, that's going to be a few down. I need to go over a few more things so you understand what's actually in the command method, because it's kind of confusing. So I'm going to go over everything that you guys need to, need to know to create your own commands and understand what's happening with the command. So this is where all your plugins are going to go. We're going to keep this up, because if you exit out of here, it's going to shut the server down. We're going to go into our Eclipse, and we're just going to make it log a few messages. Feel free to make it log whatever you want. I'm going to log an info message that says um, cool beans, and then we'll do one more. That's a warning that says enabling plugin. Watch out. And then this is the. Um, the Java plugin class is going to call this on enable method when your plugin starts up, when the server starts up. So it's going to call this method and it's going to do this code. Same thing with the on disable. 
when your plugin is disabled or your server oh, ugh, I can talk or your server shuts down it's gonna call the undisable method so we're gonna log a severe method in here that says dude your plugin is disabled with a frowny face and that's it now we need to create one more thing before we can export this we need to create a plugin YML file now the Java plugin has a um, a constructor to it. A constructor is just a kind of method. I'm going to go over that a few episodes down. You'll know all about that good stuff. Um, but it has a constructor that takes a file. And your plugin needs to have that file in it so that it can start the plugin. So we're going to go to source. We're going to go to new file. Name this plugin.yml and click finish. Now if, if you don't have Notepad++ um, and this didn't open up, you can just right click the plugin YML file, go to open with, and go to text editor. So there's, a, there's um, four things that you need to have in here. You need to have the name of your plugin, which uh, we'll call this one YouTube plugin. Next, you need to have the version, which it can be whatever you want. You can call it five point that. I tend to call them 1.0 for the first release of a plugin and any um, subsequent release you'll just add one to it or whatever. Next is the main. What this means, um, remember I told you about how the the Java plugin class that we extend here, this is like the main method, this is where the plugin starts. Well, you are you need to tell the um, this YML file where this is at. And if you also remember how I explained how packages are just folders, so like um, me.applejuice.youtubepractice is just a me folder, applejuice folder, YouTube practice folder, and inside that folder is turtles. So we need to give a link to that um, destination or to that file. So we're going to do me.applejuice.youtubepractice.turtles, because turtles, is, that's our main class. Next, we need to do description. This can be whatever you want. Um, this doesn't really matter. You can call it anything. We'll call it my awesome plugin for YouTube. I believe this is displayed if you um, if you do help, like in the in the bucket thing or in a uh, server. If you do slash help, it'll show your plugin and it'll it'll show the description. I think I could be wrong about that. Not 100% sure, but that is all we need so we're gonna save all we'll close out of that and then we'll close out of that now you wanna click on YouTube practice right click go to export go to uh, if you're just like this go to Java then jar file click next for the export destination the easiest thing to do is to go to browse and find your uh, the plugin or the, the testing server that we made so mine's right here on my desktop, YouTube plugin testing server. Go right to plugins. So what this is going to do, and it, um, Eclipse will save this. So all you got to do is go to export, enter, 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 and it'll automatically export right into your plugin server, and it'll overwrite the old one. It's really, really, really easy for quick testing your plugins. So we'll call this, what did we name this? Um, YouTube plugin, I think we called it. I'm going to save it. Finish. And that's it. Now, if you notice, we now have YouTube plugin.jar. A jar file is basically, it's exactly as it sounds. If you have like a jar of pickles, you have all your pickles in one jar. Same thing with this. This is a jar file where you have all your class files and your the YML file that you wrote. It's all put into one jar. It makes it nice and easy to do stuff with it, which in this case, we're going to run it on a server. So we have our server started up. We're going to reload it. And here we go. We have our info. Um, we have the info method that we made that says cool beans. We have the war or the the info method that we called. I'm sorry. We have the warning method that we called that said en enable plugin. Watch out. Now, if we reload this again, because we um, when you reload a server, it shuts all the plugins down and starts them back up. So now we'll be able to see the 
severe meth the severe message and there it is disabling YouTube plugin version 1.0 that's where the version comes in here's our severe dude your plugin is disabled with the frown face and that's it that is your first plugin I guess if you want to call it a plugin um, I mean it is that that's that is the first step so now that you understand about how what happens when a plugin is enabled and disabled you're going to use those methods for a lot more as we get deeper into this stuff so it's good to start from the from the bottom and that is it stop the server closing down and that's all so let me give you guys some uh, some homework for next episode I would like you here, let me think of something I'm trying to think of something that would be a, a bit of a challenge. I would like you to make a method inside of this class, inside of the turtles class, that um, it's going to be a private method because we're only going to use it in this class. It's going to return a string and it's going to be called combine strings. That's what the method's going to be called. And for the parameters, it's going to take one string called um, string1. And it's going to take a second string as a parameter called string2. And then what it's going to return is you're going to concatenate those two strings. You're going to combine them together. And then that's what you're going to return. So you're going to return a new string that um, has the value of the two strings that you passed in, but combined. And then I want you to log that um, I want you to log that as a like my plugin logger I want you to log it as an info message and I want you to call the method as the as the string so you're gonna call the um, combined string method and you're gonna have your your two strings here okay and and you're gonna call that as you're gonna pass that into the the info method because this returns a string and info takes a string and that is it all right guys thank you for watching uh, next video we're going to go over booleans which are true and false values and casting uh, that should be a pretty quick one because that's just a it's a core java thing that you need to know so i won't go too much in depth about it um, but it's going to help you a lot when we're doing commands which is going to be two episodes down all right Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, contact me on Skype or email me. And stay tuned for the next video.